Hello and good day everyone. Welcome to my channel Fixing Knowledge. And today we are talking about top comparisons explained between ITIL V3 and V4. Let's begin. Let's look at the background. ITIL also known as Information Technology Infrastructure Library is a set of best practices for IT service management. ITIL V3, also known as ITIL 2011, and ITIL V4 are two versions of ITIL that has been released by Exelos, the entity that owns and maintains the ITIL framework. We will look at the comparison between the version 3 and version 4 in coming slides. Focus and Scope For ITIL V3, it focuses on a service lifecycle approach consisting of five core stages, service strategy, service design, service transition, service operation, and continual service improvement, also known as CSI. For version four, it expands its scope to include the entire IT service management ecosystem. It introduces the service value system, which comprises five components, guiding principles, governance, service value chain, practices, and continual improvement. Key concepts. For version three, the key concepts include processes, functions, and roles across the service lifecycle stages. For version four, it introduces new key concepts such as service value system, service value chain, four dimensions of service management, and the ITIL practices. Practices. For version 3, it defines a set of 26 processes and 4 functions that are to be applied throughout the service lifecycle. For version 4, there are 34 practices categorized into 3 dimensions. General management practices, service management practices, and technical management practices. Guiding principles. In version 4, it does not have any specific set of guiding principles. For version 4, it introduces 7 guiding principles that align with modern ways of working and encouraging organizations to adopt a holistic approach to service management. Flexibility and Agility For version 3, it is more structured and less flexible compared to version 4. For version 4, it promotes flexibility and agility by emphasizing the importance of adapting the practices to suit the organization's specific needs and objectives. Adoption and Implementation For version 3, it has been widely adopted and implemented by organizations around the world. For version 4, it is the latest version of the framework and is gaining traction due to its modernized approach and relevance to current IT service management practices. Certification Structure For version 3, certification scheme consists of five certification levels, Foundation, Practitioner, Intermediate, Expert, and Master. For version 4, it has streamlined its certification scheme into four certification levels, Foundation, Managing Professional, strategic leader and master. Digital transformation. For version 3, it does not specifically address digital transformation and emerging technologies. For version 4, it includes guidance on digital transformation, incorporating concepts like agile, DevOps and automation to cater to the evolving IT landscape. Collaboration and integration. For version 3, it focuses on siloed processes and functions within IT service management. For version 4, it emphasizes collaboration, integration, and holistic approach across the organization to deliver value to the customers and stakeholders. Customer-centric approach. In version 3, it acknowledges the importance of customer satisfaction and service quality but does not emphasize a customer-centric approach. In version 4, it places a strong emphasis on understanding and meeting customer needs, preferences, and expectations throughout the service management lifecycle. 
community engagement in version 3 community engagement was primarily through forums user groups and publications whereas in version 4 it has a more active and engaged community with opportunities for collaboration feedback and continuous improvement through channels like social media webinars and events continuous improvement in version 3 continuous improvement is one of the core principles focused on small incremental changes in version 4 it encourages a more dynamic and a proactive approach to continuous improvement incorporating feedback loops data driven decision making and a culture of learning and innovation in summary itl version 4 represents a significant evolution from version 3 by offering a more holistic and flexible approach to it service management it's important for organizations to evaluate these key differences between version 3 and version 4 to determine which version aligns best with their goals culture and it service management strategy thank you for giving your time and learning with me on my channel fixing knowledge Stay tuned to see more learnings coming soon and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel have a nice day ahead bye bye